welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine. If you are new here, I am a mom of three. I work full time and I am a military spouse. This is the house that we will be in for the next year, year and a half if we're lucky. And we have just been going through the motions. I swear to God, since school has started, it has been just, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like days have been flying. Like there's just not enough time in a day to get everything that I need done, done. But we are going to finally be tackling my fridge. We're getting groceries. I still have to clean out the pantry and reorganize that. So that's in today's video. There's some deep cleaning in this video, some organizing, decluttering, all the things. So if you are interested in that and that's something that you are looking for, some motivation to help tackle those areas in your home that you have been putting off, follow along with me. Hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell. Kick back and watch along or clean along with me. I always love when you guys let me know what you're doing while watching my videos down in the comments. It means so much to me every single time you guys click on my videos. I hope you will stay until the end because we just have so much going on to today's video. And we're just gonna jump right into this video and get this cleaning done. I just got my grocery haul from Kroger. So I'm just gonna go through it really, really quick. I got uh, regular milk for the kids, always two gallons, cause they go through. I probably should have did one with school starting back tomorrow, but I didn't, so oh well. And they love their cereal though, so we'll see. I got more of my favorite body wash right here. If you were wondering, it smells so good, love it. And then I got this for my bonus daughter because it has press control and i think this will be great for school especially going into the winter drier months and i've been trying out different razors because i have found that i get razor burn real bad and so i want to try something i got the sensitive ones last time i don't remember what kind they were from here and they just did not work they hurt every time i shaved but if you're wondering i got those ones let me know if you've ever tried those and then over here we got some hamburger helper for an easy dinner for the kids when we are on the go they love hamburger helper some root beer we call it kid soda <laughs> but at least it's caffeine free and they're small little little ones i always get the lower sodium tuna and this is just makes a quick quick pre-workout or post-workout snack when i'm starving and i don't have time to make something and then hot dogs, of course, for the kids. I eat potatoes or sweet potatoes 
every single day. I dice them up and throw them in the air fryer and I eat them in turkey bowls. I eat them as a taco bowl. I eat them as a side with some chicken breast, literally anything. So these are a staple. I always prep my ingredients. So yeah, they're there. Then I got some chicken tenders to make some kind of wraps for tomorrow and then chicken breast always keep on hand. I saw these when I was ordering. It was kind of like a splurge item. I was just, let me try them. I love trying all different kinds of snacks that are healthier. So I got these to kind of give me that crunch. I don't know if the macros are, they're not too bad for macros wise. So I'm excited to try those. Of course, we got more ice cream, cookies and cream. My older son and my younger son loves the Neapolitan. Some little pancake packs for when they are on the go in the morning, throw them in the car. Some sweet half and half tea. And then over there is my husband's Dr. Pepper Sunkiss. And I wanted to just give him a different flavor because they were buy two, get two free. So I got the Mountain Dew Baja Blast to kind of mix it up for him. And these are my older daughter's favorite. And then I got a whole bunch of chips for back to school lunches if they are hungry and are in the mood for that. And then over here, I got all of the drinks, the juice pouches, the barrels, can send them in an easy lunch box idea. Then over here, I love these for, like I said, like a little tuna wrap. They're very tiny. You can use them for like even hamburger buns. That's a great option. Always have Greek yogurt on hand. I eat it every single day. Swiss rolls for the boys and the kids because they love them. Oreos, which are the packs, the individual packs so they could take them for lunch. They love their ramen. Some go squeezes, love those as well. Graham crackers, Lucky Charms. And then I got two of these reduced fat Cheez-Its because my kids eat them before I even get a chance to have those. <laughs> They're always gone. And then I wanted these for some salsa, like a healthier option chip for salsa. And then bananas and onion. Blueberries, I always order blueberries because I have these every single day on everything. Rice cakes, Greek yogurt, you name it, I have it. These plain Greek yogurts I throw in my tacos as a sour cream substitution. It's just better for you and less fat. Lettuce, arugula all the peppers because I am making a healthier sloppy joe recipe. I don't know if I'm going to film it here or if I'm going to put it in a TikTok later. I will let you guys know in the video. Anyway, <laughs> this, I got a small thing of tomatoes, but they gave me this huge thing of tomatoes. So hopefully they're good, but they look really nice and juicy. And then I got them these shortcakes because they're strawberry shortcake and maybe my bonus arm might like them. And then these go in my, uh, sloppy joe recipe and i think i'm gonna do the original instead of the honey but i love the jihu sauces the macros are phenomenal i got these mini bags for the kids so they can stop fighting over a real like a big bag and then these gummies they always love hot cocoa they call it kids coffee some crackers for lunches and pretzels and i think that is everything that i got i'm gonna put it away now I need to move the mini fridge that we have upstairs in the kids playroom back downstairs and put it in like the bar area because I am running out of room so quick in this fridge with all of our leftovers. We do not eat out. We probably have like one maybe ish night that we eat out every other week or every week. But I, because I have been doing 75 hard, I have been eating at home. It's easier to prep. You can weigh everything. It's just a lot more accurate when you're tracking 
everything you eat. So like, it's just different. And we are always having like prep food in here. Like I don't prep meals, but I prep ingredients. So I have prepped meat. I have prepped sides. I have prepped everything you can think of in this fridge. And right now it is overflowing. And like I have protein shakes in here. I got drinks. I got those Olipops that I absolutely love. I have energy drinks for the gym. The Lani uh, Witches Brew finally came out. And I love the Dream Float one as well just all the things. And this fridge is always overflowing. I can never get to anything. It's really irking me. I have so many sauces. I need to get a better organization in here. The drinks are nice because it does have organization, but again, it's overflowing. So I definitely need to get a drink fridge. I feel like I need to bring down that mini fridge and put it downstairs and then have all of the drinks down there and have it more organized. Cause I feel like that would just be so much better. I feel like the hardest thing about groceries isn't the shopping, isn't going to get the groceries because now you can have them delivered. Like I've been so excited about the fact that they finally deliver to my house. It's the fact that you get to put it all away, all away. And I find that organizing my pantry does help with that, but it does get so messy. I have kids that are four, uh, seven and almost 13. So it gets messy and nothing really stays the same, but I find that organizing it organization helps me put it away, helps me feel like there's less clutter in my pantry. And it makes it easier when you're grocery shopping to not overbuy and overconsume things that you're never going to eat. I try not to do that because I hate when I feel like food just sits and sits and sits in the pantry and it never gets eaten. I, I don't know if I'm anyone like that. Like groceries are too expensive for all that. Like I need to know what I need. I don't need to be over buying or over, you know, I do bundle buy, like I go and, uh, to like Sam's club sometimes, but that stuff gets eaten 
if I'm going to put it in my pantry. It's just I want to be able to see it. I want to be able to know what I'm low on and kind of go from there. Would lie to you. Doesn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy on the We're finally finishing up in the kitchen and we're going to tackle my home office since I do work from home. I can't stand the amount of clutter that kind of accumulates during the week when I just never have time to clean it off. And then I have to put books back. If you don't know this about me, I film for TikTok as well as Instagram Reels. I post there daily instead of weekly like I do on YouTube. And I'm always posting things over there like book talks, recommendations for books, all of the things, all of the, like I try to read all over the genres, not just stick to one thing, but I will say that fantasy romance romance is definitely more of my alley I've been getting into thrillers lately but if you are interested in following me over there just make sure you are it's just a cleaning affair like it is here and it's just so much fun I feel like I have a lot of fun on those kind of reels I do a lot of book talks and then I also do some nutrition some workout motivation and kind of posting about about my progress for 75 hard so if that interests you just go ahead over there I promise it is so much fun Thought that I'd be healing now I didn't think I'd have to feel this now I thought I would have moved on But somehow the feeling's still strong Like I'll be on my way out Thinking that I'm good right suddenly You passed by now you're stuck on my mind Thinking I was done now But I guess I'll never be tired Of you Oh, 
Two goals before the end of the year I'm hoping I get to them and that is to put in my kitchen backsplash 
and then also redo this bathroom. I want to paint it, I think, make it light and airy, maybe do some board and batten, and then throw in like a black hexagon tile, I feel like would look so cute in this in this little bathroom, and then throw an actual like vanity up instead of this little pedestal sink. I absolutely hate it. My kids actually brush their teeth. Like the two boys brush their teeth downstairs because I'm already at work and it's easier for me to help them down here than go upstairs to do it. I know I'm just being a little lazy, but anything that's more efficient for a mom, I'm all for it. That is what my channel is about. It's about finding ways to be more efficient, more able to kind of maintain your house, that motivation aspect as well. Like that's all I want for you guys. I want to help you guys in any way I can. And if things like brushing their teeth down in the sink can save me five minutes of time, then I'm going to do it because this mom, like I have no time, no time. So this is what I like to do. <laughs> Is anyone else as excited for decorating for fall as I am? Like I think about it, I'm so excited to put the decor up, but however, however, the motivation aspect to actually get out all of my totes and decorate each room feels so overwhelming this year. I'm going to try to be more minimal in my decor, more intentional. I do. I did get rid of quite a bit last year, actually. I got a lot of, rid of a lot of my decor because I think I had seven totes and I only have three or four this time. So I'm glad I got rid of stuff I'm not going to use, but I'm going to do the same thing. If I did not use it this season, I'm going to get rid of it, just like my spring decor. Things I didn't use are going to the donate bin. That's just how it works. I don't like to hold on to things, especially with how often we move for the military, and I just hate having all of the clutter. 
So that's what we're going to do. Um, this puzzle is actually put together and we're going to put it in a frame because my son loves Iron Man and it's going to go upstairs in their room and hang. So I did order that from Amazon. It will be off my table here soon. And I'm so happy for that because it was time to go. I just took some of this stuff down because in the next video, most likely, I'm going to start putting up some of my fall decor and taking down all of my spring decor. So it's going to be a pretty big video. I might split it up, but it's just time for fall in my house. It's getting so close. I didn't realize how quick August was going, and now I'm like, oh man, I really got to get a video out for you guys. So I'm trying, but I think it looks so much better with the lamp on the end over here and then this was just getting so long it was dangling so far off so i think moving that here will help with that i need to get like a vein thing vine thing to keep it up and then that way it's not doing that and then i just did what i have with that so far we're lighting up the sky it's what we do we shouldn't care my feelings out you look at me like i'm different still you stay cause you feel something real get so lost in my moments doesn't mean i don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors they kind of tell me what i'm thinking i fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it there's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart 
There's something different about the way we are. pretty much just finishing up the video by getting these floors mopped it has been forever since i have busted out my oc or spin mop i love this mop it just it's a task as a mom who's so busy trying to find time to vacuum and then mop like i don't know i just i definitely lean towards my tenko or my crosswave because it just does it all in one go and i don't have to manually mop but I just feel like this gets my floor so clean. It's such a deep cleaning feeling when you get to bust out the O-Cedar. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you stayed until the end. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing, your highs and lows of the week, what's been going on with you guys. You know, I love hearing from you down in the comments. But anyway, I will see you guys back next time.